the YouTube. Another book that I believe everybody should have is the SAS Survival Handbook. This is an absolutely great book to have. Written by a guy named John Weissman. He was Special Forces, I believe, in the British Armed Forces. So he's been deployed worldwide, talks about all manner of survival aspects, and he even refers to different geographic regions throughout this book. It is a lot of reading. It has a lot of information in it. For example, this page just happens to have the different types of, of footprints that animals leave, whether they're bears or cougars, um, you know, the different types of deer tracks that are out there. Uh, in this one, you know, we're talking about different, you know, predators that can be out there, different types of reptiles and how you can eat these reptiles and various birds and insects. He does talk about poisonous plants and edible plants and medicinal plants. And again, this guy puts some good color photos in here so that you can see it. Tells you a little bit about all the, all the different plants and what they can be used for, whether they're poisonous, edible, whether they're medicinal. I like this, for example, he's got little skull and crossbones when he's next to these particular plants because they are extremely poisonous. He talks about the different kinds of mushrooms, different plants that are out there that you can eat along the way, how to set snares, how to set traps for animals so that you can get yourself some food. Um, again, this is, this is an absolutely great book. I've had this one for a couple of years. I'll bet I've read through it twice. Um, I use it as a reference manual. You know, how are you gonna skin a deer if you kill or cut or catch one? You know, what to do with it, how, how to get the meat that's out of it so that you can survive, feed your family, feed your loved ones, even feed your neighbors if you're in a community type environment. This book is chocked full of different kinds of information. How to make fires, how to make shelters, how to, how to get, you know, water out of the air, how to make a solar still and things like that. How you can, you know, make a cot and cover and different types of of shelters. He's got a great section on knots and different types of them. And this one, we're talking about hitches, for example. You got a clove hitch going there, a double hitch in here. Um, you know, how to bind ropes together. Again, this is just an absolutely wonderful book. Um, here he's talking about navigation. You know, what are you seeing in the stars that are out there? You know, how do you find your way? In the daytime, it's pretty easy. Anytime you face to the sun, you're facing south if you're in the northern hemisphere. Different kinds of clouds, what kind of weather you can expect from those clouds so that you know whether today would be a good day to leave your camp or whether you should stay there a little bit longer. How to make a pack and carry different types of things with you if you're caught without a backpack. This book is just absolutely chocked full of great information. Basic life-saving techniques, first aid, how to you know stitch a wound, put a butterfly bandage over it if you need to, how to set a broken arm, for example, you know how to create different kinds of slings for different types of, of injuries. Now this is a guy that again was in special forces, and so he's dealt with a lot of this information out in the out in the real world, and this book has got it all in a small condensed format. Here we go. Poisonous snakes, what to look for, what to look out for. Um, you know, snakes that are not harmful to you. Different types of fish, you know, if you're in an ocean environment. Survival at sea, if you happen to be caught out on the ocean. I mean, there is just every bit and tidbit of information. And this is a how-to manual. This book um, has had many awards out there. It's an absolutely great book, and it's small enough you can throw it in your EDC. Um, my wife and I actually, I bought two copies of this, and we both keep one. She keeps one in her backpack. I keep this one <laughs> kind of loose in the car. If I'm, you know, driving across country or I'm taking a break at work and I'm out in my car or something like that, I'll pick this book up and read a couple of paragraphs with it. It's just that good and has that much information. Um, if you're going to buy two books that are out there or even just one book that you want to keep with you and refer to you, refer to in a very bad situation, this is the one I would carry. 
It's got everything. It's, you know, fairly large book. It's fairly thick. I have to admit, for a paperback, it's pretty heavy. But if I was going to throw one volume or one book into my backpack so that I could cover virtually any, con you know, contingency that is out there, it would be this particular book. This is another book well worth having and should be in your prepping, bushcrafting, and survival library. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.